good morning today we are going to see about uh, economic load dispatch of n thermal generating units with the, considering the losses so whereas in the previous case what we have seen is uh, not consider the so if you see uh, the same uh, the same diagram same thing so what we are going to do uh, do is we are implementing the losses that is p loss p sub x loss in the uh, objective fun uh, objective function so nothing other than that nothing uh, okay uh, added added to the previous uh, thing what we have seen so here if you see like uh, um uh, the same uh, the same story whatever we have seen in the economic load dispatch of n thermal generating units so here in the in the economic uh, load dispatch of n thermal generating units with considering the losses uh, if you consider like uh, there are n boilers uh, n boilers and the n turbines and the n generating units connected to a uh, common bus uh, so here you have to note down the transmission network losses also will be added over in the um, thing okay so it is uh, directly connected to the uh, p load transmission losses also will be connected so um, here the fuel cost uh, function the, the fuel cost function of first generating unit is f1 the boiler is b1 uh, enormous amount of heat is uh, being generated and the superheated steam okay it is not a, a normal steam superheated steam is being produced and it is uh, running the turbine t1 and which is uh, coupled with a generator okay so that generator is uh, that generator is connected to a common bus so here uh, you have to note on the transmission network losses uh, you have already studied in the power system uh, even the network losses might be there network losses might be there so that network losses if you take the network losses generally the network losses might be of like um, uh, 10 percentage or 15 percentage and to the maximum of 18 percentage some uh, um, uh, transmission companies transcos it is claiming like 20 percentage also but generally um, our uh, our uh, electricity board uh, what they are considering is they are consider they, they are claiming the that they are reduce the transmission loss to uh, 12 percentage like that they are claiming but generally 15 percentage 12 to 15 percentage previously like uh, four five years back uh, they uh, claim like uh, we have attained with 18 percentage losses now around the, we have reached around 12 percentage losses like that they are claiming but uh, generally the transmission network losses might be that even if you take uh, any line any line for any length any length uh, the transmission uh, network losses might be there so that is connected to a, a common uh, um, uh, bus common bus and it is connected to a load p load or a demand uh, so generally demand also you can take demand is nothing but load so whatever the load so load also you can take and if you take like the fuel cost of uh, first generating unit is f1 fuel cost of second generating unit is f2 and uh, the boiler okay the boiler is uh, b1 and um, the turbine is t1 okay so the, the superheated steam is being generated and it is uh, running that turbine t1 which is uh, coupled with a generator g1 okay generator g1 similarly for um, generating unit 2 so generating unit 2 if you take the fuel cost the fuel cost function of second generating unit is f2 and the boiler is b2 that is being coupled with the turbine t2 that is um, uh, given uh, coupled with the generator g2 which generates the power p2 similarly similarly so fn fuel fuel cost function of nth generator is fn which is connected with the boiler bn that is being connected to the turbine tn and it is being coupled with the generator gn so which generates the power of um, pn pn okay so here transmission network loss is also um, uh, is taken that is taken as p loss okay so load is p load load is p load okay so initially if you take like um, uh, what is the main objective function same to minimize the total fuel cost to minimize the 
total fuel cost. So what is the power balance constraints over here? So here, if you take like the power balance constraints, this loss is also being considered. Previously, whatever the generation that is PI, uh, that is equal to PD, PD or demand or load, PL. Okay, so here the losses also might be added here. So why? Because transmission network loss is also there. In practice, in practice, in real world problem, transmission uh, network loss, uh, P loss also will be added here. So if you take like P load plus P loss, P load plus P loss um, minus summation of I is equal to 1 to N, PI is equal to 5. We have taken this as 5. Okay, you can also take uh, take a, any other terms. Okay, so generally P load, P load plus P loss is equal to generation or otherwise PI, PI, generation PI is equal to P load plus P loss. That also you can take. Or I is equal to 1 to N. That we have taken as 5. five. This we have taken as equation number 1. What is the... Um, objective function. Objective function is to minimize the total fuel cost. Our objective function is to minimize the total fuel cost. So we have to minimize that this total fuel cost. That is um, summation I is equal to 1 to N Fi of Pa. That is the major objective function. Whereas Ft is equal to F1 plus F2 plus up to Fn. Ft is equal to F1 plus F2 up to F1. That is uh, the fuel cost function of uh, unit one, fuel cost function of unit two, up to the fuel cost function of unit n. So after that, we are uh, we are framing the Lagrange's function. So what is Lagrange's function? I already told. Lagrange's function is defined as your objective function plus some constant into constraints. Objective function plus some constant into constraints. So what is the objective function to minimize the total fuel cost? Similarly, as in economic load dispatch, with the, without considering the losses, same uh, to minimize the total failure. After that, we are we are we are framing the Lagrange's function. So Lagrange's function is nothing but F I of P A plus some constant lambda into constraints. What is the constraints over here? P load plus P loss minus sigma I is equal to one to n P A. It is summation I, to, I is equal to 1 to N PA. So we are adding uh, the uh, constraints over here. So what is the objective function to minimize the total fuel costs plus some lambda. So we are here similarly what we uh, did it in uh, the previous uh, equation. So here we considered the load that is a demand or load that, uh, that is to be the maximum. So we are neglecting this term, neglecting this term. So next we have framed out the Lagrange's function. So what is the um, uh, what uh, next step? What is the next step? We are differentiating the Lagrange's function and equating it to zero. So why we are differentiating now? We have to uh, our major objective function is to minimize the total fuel cost. So if uh, if the same objective function is to maximize the profit or something to maximize the uh, law, um, uh, maximize the generation, something like that, uh, your objective function is there. Then we need to integrate. We need to integrate uh, that particular equation with respect to some certain time limit. Say, for example, uh, we need to maximize the profit of the particular company. So, what is uh, uh, what we have to do? We have to integrate integrate uh, that particular equation to certain limit. Say, for example, from um, um, uh, zero to twenty four hours, we have to maximize the profit. For uh, twenty four hours, we need to maximize the profit. Generally, a company's uh, objective function will be like that. Uh, generally, a particular industry's objective function will be like that to maximize the profit. So, uh, we are uh, in that case, we need to integrate, integrate, and you need to find out the what is the maximum profit from that particular uh, company. So, whereas in that case, in, in our case, we need to minimize minimize the total fuel cost. So we, we are, what we are doing is we are differentiating the Lagrange's function and equating it to zero. So while differentiating, that is dou L divided by dou PI. So why we are uh, 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 taking dou here instead of delta uh, D also you can take. So this is a very small change, small change. So we are taking the uh, dou, dou here, okay. 
So uh, you, you might have asked some question. Why why can't we take this D, DL of DPA? That also you can change. But here the uh, change is very very uh, the change is very very um, less. So we are taking this um, do that is do L divided by do PA is equal to so you say D, uh, DFI divided by DPA plus lambda into do P loss. Okay, so this is being neglected. So uh, what uh, we are doing is we, we are um, uh, okay differentiating this uh, P loss with respect to DPA and uh, this term will become one. Why? Because we are differentiating with respect to PA. So this term will become one. So here uh, after differentiating, you will get the DFI divided by DPA plus lambda into do P loss divided by do PA minus one. So further simplifying, further simplifying that is, uh, so taking the uh, like a common term outside. So what uh, we need to do is we, are, we, we need to find out the, uh, we have to minimize the total fuel. We need to find out the, that is change in the change in the fuel cost with respect to the power. So that term alone we are taking the, after that only mathematics only, that term only we are taking the things out. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking the DFI divided by DPA, I'm taking out. So rest all other terms, I'm taking the terms and the, um, after the right hand, right hand side of the equal to, equal to sign. So uh, after that, what I'm doing is I'm taking this lambda, uh, this, uh, this term and this term outside. So the uh, for common term is lambda. So I'm taking the lambda term outside. So DFI divided by DPA is equal to lambda into 1 minus do P loss divided by do P I. 1 minus do P loss uh, divided by do P I. So this I am taking as equation number 2. This uh, this first equation, this I am, uh, that is power balance constraint I am taking as equation number 1. So equation number 1 and 2 are known as coordination equation. Coordination equation in this uh, uh, economic load dispatch with considering 